Today, let's take a look at exponents, how to multiply, divide, raise to a power, and how to deal with negative exponents and fractional exponents all in one problem. Go. All right, so here's the problem we're going to work with today. There are lots of different ways to start, but the first thing that I'm going to do is because I have these parentheses here and I'm raising all of this to the 3 fourths, I'm going to take that 3 fourths and I'm going to distribute it to each element here that's being multiplied together. So that would be 16 to the 3 fourths times x to the 8 to the 3 fourths times y to the negative 4 to the 3 fourths. So there's our first property. When you are raising a bunch of things multiplied together to an exponent, that means you are raising each individual thing being multiplied to that exponent. All right, now I'm going to save my 16 to the 3 fourths for last. I'm going to deal with these two first because I remember from my mad spam, if this is new to you, go check out this video first. Otherwise, let me just remind you, this acronym mad spam means when my bases are the same, when I am multiplying, I add my exponents. When I'm dividing, I subtract my exponents. When I'm raising to a power, I multiply my exponents. So right now I am raising x to the 8 to the power of 3 fourths, which means I am multiplying them. So this becomes x to the 8 times 3 fourths, which becomes x to the 24 fourths or x to the 6. I do the same thing here. y to the negative 4 to the 3 fourths. When I raise to a power, I multiply my exponents. y to the negative 4 times 3 fourths or y to the negative 12 over 4, which is just y to the negative 3. Those guys were multiplied up here. So they're multiplied down there. Now, let's take a look at what fractional exponent really means over here with our 16. Okay, when I raise 16 to the 3 over 4, the numerator of that fraction is the exponent I am raising 16 to, 16 to the 3rd. The denominator of my fraction is the power of the root that I am taking of 16 to the 3rd. So that is the fourth root of 16 to the third. Now, there are a lot of different ways to do this. What I like to do is take 16 and rewrite it as a smaller power. So 16, I know, is 2 to the fourth. So now I have 2 to the fourth to the third. And when I raise to a power, I multiply. So that's. And now I need the fourth root of 2 to the 12. Again, there are a bunch of different ways to do this, but what I might choose to do actually is make this back into a fractional exponent. So I might take that and go like this, 2 to the 12 over 4, which is just 2 to the 3. Now, the other way I might do it, if that doesn't occur to you, is you might do the following. In order to take anything out of a fourth root, I need four of them underneath the fourth root, right? The fourth root is saying what times itself four times. So I would say, okay, two to the 12, well, that is two to the third times two to the third times two to the third times two to the third. And if I have four of them on the inside of a fourth root, that means I have one of them on the outside of a fourth root. Okay, so now I'm almost done. I'm gonna put it all together. So 2 to the 3rd, I'm going to say, well, that's 8. 8 x to the 6th times y to the negative 3. So now I have to deal with, well, what does a negative exponent mean? A negative exponent means 1 over the positive version of that exponent. So that would get rewritten as 1 over y to the positive 3. And when I put that all together, I have 8 x to the 6th over y to the 3rd. Let's do one more. I always aim to do these really short little videos, but the math teacher in me just says, nah, they need more practice. So stick with it. Let's do one more. Okay, so here we are again. All right, step one. That's right. Let's distribute. That's right. All right, now, this time, let's approach our 27 differently. Instead of turning it into the root and the exponent, let's start by noticing that 27 could be rewritten as 3 to the third. 
So then if I have three to the third to the four thirds raising to a power, I multiply that becomes three to the three times four thirds, which is just three to the four or 81. All right, now let's do the same stuff here. A to the nine to the four thirds, that becomes A to the nine times four thirds, which is just A to the 12th. And then finally, B to the negative three to the four thirds becomes B to the negative three times four thirds, which is just B to the negative four. When I put those all together, I remember that my negative exponent means one over the positive. And so when I put them together, I get eight A to the 12th over B to the fourth. And I can't do anything further with that because A and B do not share a common base. In order to do the when you divide, you subtract the exponents, that part of MADSPAM, you must have a common base. And that's how I know I'm done with the problem. Okay, check out some of these other videos on exponents. Check out their partners, the videos on roots. Consider subscribing to my channel so you know when I put out a new video. And as always, keep on mathing.